This was the scene at Nakasero Mosque this morning. And riot police facing off with a group of angry Muslims determined to protect their mosque from further damage. It all began last night when two excavators were brought in to dig up an adjacent plot. In the process, the excavation work damaged the mosque, prompting angry Muslims armed with sticks and pieces of timber who stopped the works and set ablaze the excavators. The spokesman for the Chibuli Muslim faction, Sheikh Hassan Kiryad, defended the vigilants and said the developer was in breach after he encroached on the Nakasero Mosque. In fact, it started by 11 last night when uh, the developer here uh, started demolishing the mosque, contrary to what um, we had uh, already agreed on that he develops the rest of the plots and he leaves the mosque as it is. And it turns out the developer is Haji Mutasa Kafero. In October last year, his plans to redevelop the Said Mosque hit a snag when the Muslim fraternity protested the plan to privatize the process. The plan was allegedly agreed to by the mosque's leader, Imam Kaketo, but was halted amid its rumors that he had sold off the mosque to Kafero secretly. Responding to the incident today, Kafero blamed some leaders affiliated to Nakasero Mosque for misleading their flock. I wouldn't do it without their consent. This is uh, how our Muslim friends can always confuse young, young people who don't know what is on the ground and who don't know who, who is helping them, who is not trying to help them. To quell further trouble, the police have begun investigations into who was responsible for the damage. These people who came in to do the work at night, they did wrong and we're going to prefer charges against those people who, took, who, who, who even made this world collapse. That's malicious damage to property. Ownership of Nakasero Mosque has been in dispute between the Muslim community and Haji Mutasa Kafero. He says it was leased to him by Muslim leaders to redevelop it. So I was trying to put a line here to develop this part and this one so that this mosque part comes later if Muslims I mean, uh, consent. Political leaders in Kampala have weighed in with Kampala Central MP and mayoral candidate Elias Surukwago, urging to probe all the disputes surrounding Muslim properties across the country. We should get justices of a high court or, supreme, or court of appeal or supreme court. They should probe into these matters, not only this isolated incident to cut out a comprehensive study and give us a report. And the government should come up with a white paper on this. They should tell us exactly who is behind land grabbing in Kampala here, particularly the Muslim property. 